Facebook. Good morning and podcast listeners. Good morning to you. It is 804 on this Thursday. It's June 16th. I'm Saquon and lots of local events happening today. First of all, we want to talk about Roger Maris All-Star Week. Today is the uh, Roger Maris Celebrity Golf Tournament. We had our first news anchor, Lisa Badeau, out there this morning. It looked so beautiful. Um, Rose Creek Golf Course is where those celebrities will be uh, golfing 18 holes, which is fun. That's, uh, they're teeing off at, oh, actually they already teed off. It's past 745. So, uh, first group teed off at 745. The nine hole scramble is taking place over at Osgood golf course. Uh, we of course know, uh, at least you guys probably know Roger Maris all-star week is much more than just this celebrity golf tournament. It's really about the kids and, um, helping, uh, the Roger Maris cancer center, the Sanford, uh, Roger Maris cancer center. So, Want to let you know fun events are taking place and have been all throughout this week, especially for those kids out there. Um, and yeah, it was really, it was really neat. So I uh, wanted to pass that along to you. Also, um, you can see some classic cars and bikes and a lot of other vehicles if you would like. Um, West Fargo is kicking off its cruise night tonight at 4.30 this afternoon, I should say. So 4.30, you do not have to register to cruise around or even if you're just looking at them, you don't need to register. But we do want to remind you that with cruise night there's going to be some streets that are blocked off so all of those classic cars are going to be riding south down down cheyenne street starting at main avenue west uh so that of course means all the roads on the east and the west sides of cheyenne will be blocked off if you're trying to get to um if you're trying to get around the event you can always take uh first street it just go north there so passing that off to you as well okay um more road closures to talk about i should say lane closure for this one but we actually are talking about the same spot that I told you about yesterday. Um, it's NP Avenue between Robert Street North and Broadway. So yesterday we talked about a road closure because some, you know, heavy equipment needed to make uh, its way through there. But today these lanes going in both directions are going to be closed because crews are going to be making repairs to some water mains there. So I uh, wanted to let you know about that. Again, kind of the same deal as yesterday too. Your drive back home should be okay. Uh, but for the big chunk of this morning, it's probably going to be blocked off. At least the lanes will be. So um, just be mindful of that if you need to drive through the downtown area today. Um, and yeah. And then there's also another closure in Fargo, but this one won't really affect you unless you're <laughs> going to be out and about from 10 tonight to 4 this morning. So, or 4 tomorrow morning, I should say. So it's going to be the exit 349 ramp in Fargo, just on I-94, which is the interchange uh, between I-94 and I-29. That's going to be closed from that time, again, 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Um, and if you need to take the exit, there's you just need to find a different way. That's what crews are asking you to do. So, um, again, exit 349 and ramp in Fargo on I-94 West is going to be blocked off overnight. Okay. Um we also took a look at some historic numbers when it comes to the primary hey guys sorry i don't know what happened but um my live video just ended abruptly i'm not sure why i think there were some connection issues but we're back um i was talking about some voter turnout stuff and um that's because we found some historic numbers when it comes to this year's north dakota primary elections so um this year actually the primaries have the lowest voter turnout in the state since 2014. Uh, so in that election, in Tuesday's election, about 93,500 people voted, or actually I should say in 2014, excuse me, uh, about 93,500 people voted. So I think just 17.2% of people who were eligible, but this year, uh, just more than 105,000 people cast their votes. So only about 17.8% of people who could vote actually did. So, of course, that's a sharp incline as well, for, or decline as well from the 2020 primaries. That's where 160,000 people voted um, using mail-in ballots. And, of course, that was the only option because that was kind of at the peak of the pandemic. And then this year, only 49,000 people voted with mail-in ballots. So, very big uh, decline for sure. Um, but we wanted to pass that along because we thought those numbers were kind of interesting. Um, also, voters in Crookston, you are going to have a lot to think about when it comes to this referendum. And it's a $4 million referendum, and it's for the city's high school, and that's, it's actually for a new sports facility that could seat about a, uh, 750 people. So they're hoping to add some artificial turf for, you know, soccer and football 
an eight lane track, concessions and bathrooms. And the reason why they're putting this referendum in front of voters um, in Crookston is because they want to actually be able to use that facility for their athletes at the high school there. Uh, because right now, you know, track athletes and, um, and uh, football players are using the field at U of M uh, the Crookston campus. So, um, and they're saying that it's not really in great shape. So they would like to get their own. If that does pass, here's what it would mean for you. If you live in Crookston and you own a house, $200,000 home, let's say you own that, you would pay $29 more, um, for taxes each month. And then on a $250,000 home, it would be about $67, uh, yearly tax increase. So I wanted to let you know about that. That vote for the referendum will be taking place on August 9th. So, just wanted to put that out there. Um, that's maybe something that you, if you live in Crookston, might want to be thinking about heading into um, August. Also, some Fargo students are going to be moving classes as they start the upcoming school year. So um, students at Holy Spirit Elementary School in Fargo, they will start off the school year at St. Mary's Cathedral Campus. And it's because the district says that some major repairs are actually needed right now. Um, because it's just not very safe for these students to be inside that building. Little Deacon's program though, that's going to stay where it is at Holy Spirit Parish. Um, a reminder though, we do know that uh, the first day of school for grades one through five, that's gonna be on August 23rd. For pre-K and kindergarten, that's going to be August 25th. All right, uh, let's talk more on a national level. If you drive a Ford, or if you know someone who drives a Ford, which I'm sure many of you do, because I feel like I know a lot of people who drive Fords, listen up because this might affect you or the people that you know. Ford right now is recalling nearly 3 million um, cars and SUVs because it's saying that the cars could roll away even when it's in park. Uh, so basically, I know you're like, okay, well, if it's in park, I should be fine. But actually it's not because it might say that it's in park, but it might not actually be in park. So just keep that in mind. Um, people did get hurt from this, by the way, we're talking four people and six reports of property damage as well. So here are the cars that are affected. Make sure you listen to this. Um, you can also just find this by a simple Google search, but I'll say it for you guys if you're tuning in live. Um, 2013 to 2019 Escape, 2013 to 2018 C Max, 2013 to 2016 Fusion, and then lastly, the 2013 through the 2021 Transit Connect. If you have any of these cars, you can take it into a local dealer and uh, just get it fixed for free. Of course, the company pays for that. So um, yeah, just wanted to let you know about that. Of course, if you didn't catch that, you can always, um, after I end this Facebook Live, you can scroll to where I talked about it and find that, or you could just always Google it as well. Also, today, um, more baby formula is going to be making its way to the U.S. Um, it's going to be leaving Europe today, a, a plane full of, you know, baby formula. We're talking 44,000 pounds. Um, that's going to be leaving Switzerland, landing in Kentucky today. So uh, the Biden administration says this supply is going to be made available through a pipeline, uh, which serves hospitals, health companies, and WIC programs nationwide. So just wanted to let you know that baby formula, more of it, is on the way here uh, to the U.S. Also today, um, third hearing in the investigation of the January 6th attack on our Capitol. Um, this, of course, we've been following because these hearings are going to be taking place this entire month. Uh, and today, actually, they're going to be having a hearing at noon. Um, it was postponed yesterday, uh, as we told you about on First News, that it was postponed due to technical issues. So, um, in today's hearing, you can expect the House committee um, and their plans to look at former President Donald Trump, uh, his efforts to pressure former Vice President uh, Mike Pence to block the certification of the election, the 2020 elections. Uh, we also know that these committee members are expected to call many of Pence's uh, top advisors as witnesses. So again, you can catch those hearings um, on our channel on WDAY at noon today. That is the third round of hearings. Okay, also, um, this is uh, something I wanted to pass along as well. Right now, we do know that the White House is looking into some reports of two missing Americans who are fighting in Ukraine. Um, and they've been missing for nearly a week now, at least according to their family members. So Andy Wynn and Alexander Drukey are both from Alabama and a person that 
uh, was fighting with them says that they were battling with these Ukrainian forces uh, in a town just north of Kharkiv. And that was as of June 9th. Um, and that's when the two of them disappeared. Well, the next day, uh, an online Russian propaganda post um, kind of claimed that these Russian forces were able to get two Americans near Kharkiv, so very close to where they were. Um, as of yesterday, though, the White House has not responded or confirmed those reports, so we will stay on top of that for you, and uh, hopefully they can return back home safely. Okay, um, Hot Mike with um, Izzo today. It's going to be with Zach Staten. That's on from 9 to 11, WDO Extra and Inform.com. Zach, what you got today? My dad's going to be on. Oh, Zach's dad's going to be on. Okay. Okay, well... Okay, well, it's going to be a fun day on Hot Mike, so make sure you go join you know, Zach. Rosa's baseball coaches on. Rosa's? They just made history. They'll play their first eight title game tomorrow. Oh, that's awesome. And we'll bring you a little uh, time. We'll bring you a CT's off the US Open today. Well, you heard him. Guys, you need to go join him today on Hot Mike. He's got a lot of great... Great things to talk about, great guests as well. So go join him again, 9 to 11, WDY Extra and Inforum.com. Speaking of Inforum.com, I want to point you to this article here. We talked about this on First News as well, but here's the headline for you. Canadian bicyclist on international fundraising trip dies after being struck by driver in South Dakota. It's a really sad story, but um, he was on this international bike ride for a really, really great cause, actually, to help out his family. And um, it was neat, uh, but he did die from some injuries. So if you want to read a little bit about what kind of cause he was supporting and how you can help, you can do that right now on our website, inforum.com. A reminder, um, I say this with every single Facebook Live, you can take advantage of our website and this deal by going to inforum.com slash subscribe. Yes, my subscribe fingers still exist. And you can get your first three months of unlimited access to our website and much more um, just for 99 cents a month for your first three months. So uh, just wanted to pass that along to you. If you're interested, you can obviously stay connected to us uh, when it comes to news, weather, sports, you can live stream us on our, you know, our, 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 our website. You can also um, check out so much more guys on our website right now. So I wanted to pass that offer along to you guys if you're interested. And yeah, um, I will not be here tomorrow, but Lisa will of course be here so you can join her from five to seven. But don't forget, we have our four, five, six, and 10 o'clock newscasts as well. Um, it's possible that our 10 o'clock show will get uh, delayed today just because of the NBA finals. So if they win, um, they could be on at about 10.30 or maybe a little bit later. Uh, it really depends on the game. So if you're not familiar, just just uh, make sure you're in the in the know about that. All right. Um, make sure you tune into First News tomorrow morning from 5 to 7. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.